Uh, what, what was that? The block punts? Yeah. Well, I mean, it just execution on one, and, you know, I think they made a really good play and timed up the, you know, the motion and, and you know, was able to get in there on the second one. You know, first one, they, four guys overloaded, and, you know, we got to get some depth. And, you know, again, from the picture, you know, I would say that Stoney's got to, you know, be able to take it, you know, and help us out. I don't know that to be sure. I know that we're angled off into the overload, and, um, you know, you can't have punts blocked and think that you're going to win games and, you know, all the other things and, you know, punt and give credit to the defense going out there and playing and getting stops and, you know, ask the guys to fight at the beginning of the week and that's exactly what they did. It was unfortunate that, you know, they just made one more play than we did. It looked like Josh didn't pick up the, the motion man on the second one. What, what needs to happen there? We just need to make sure that we protect our punter, you know, protect our our quarterback and, and, and affect their quarterback and affect their punter. You know, that's what needs to happen, whether, you know, you know we got guys that uh, we're responsible for and making sure that you know, we get those guys blocked and um, that the operation's clean. Is there anything, anything you can tell him, an extra point as far as Tannehill he'll be in the holder or is it just a, just a miss? I mean, just, just missed. He was on the left hash and, you know, Clearly, Ryan did a nice job on the second one. Appreciate what his ability to come in there, and you know we're going to talk a lot about you know mistakes and you know, those happen. And I'm going to try to find a way to continue to get this team to fight like they did today, because um, that was you know until we obviously lost, it was I would say a pretty impressive effort to be able to compete and that back and forth and you know give them credit as well, but. Proud of the way that we fought and we lost. Was that kind of your message to them in the locker room afterwards? Was that hmm? your Asked message? them to fight at the beginning of the week and they fought. They didn't give in. You know, took a bunch of punches, gave some. You know, unfortunately, there at the end, you know, those add up and you know they made a play. Despite the the uh, despite the ending, the team seems to play 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 better here. What can what can what can you say about that? <clears throat> We didn't, they didn't play well enough to win. Um, but they compete, and I'm, and I'm proud to coach them when, when, when they compete like that. You know, some, some good football in there. I'm going to try to try to find it and eliminate the stuff to get you beat, which is certainly uh, missed opportunities, giving up X plays, letting the quarterback get hit and fumble, and, and having punts blocked. But there's also a lot of really good stuff in there as well. What do you know about Derek and, uh, and what do you say about his game prior to getting hurt? That, uh, you know, I thought we executed the ability to run football there and most of the time, most of the day. You know, Derek ran hard. It was fun to watch. Um, won't know much other than he wasn't able to return. You, uh, I guess the, the play of the offense, you had some good moments, but had a long stretch without Kind of get some drives together. So did they. Yeah. So did they. Were you able to see in the moment what happened on that last next play to Pierce? Was that just a one on one matchup? Yeah, it is. Got behind us and well thrown ball and made, made a play. You didn't seem enthusiastic about the, the penalty that set that up. Well, there. I thought that was a little quick. I, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's two guys, you know, released on the sidelines. Obviously, who would be enthusiastic about that? Um, asked if it was two step process, if he saw the illegal contact. I mean, 90 minutes into the game or 80 minutes into the games, you know, time, good time to call the first illegal contact of the day. You look at that as compared to, uh, obviously, it wasn't illegal contact on Hopkins in the end zone, but like, is it just, are you getting frustrated with the lack of consistency in the. Uh, I think Hop's got to do a little bit more on, on, you know, I think just, again, what we're coaching there, and I think he'll tell you is trying to come back and create that contact and get, you know, two arms on the other side of the guy. And because if not, then I think you make it a judgment. And if you're able to come back, create contact, get two arms across the guy, uh, that, then that pretty much eliminates most of the, the doubt. That he competes his ass off. And they're just like most everybody else. But, you know, you see him finishing and going to cause a fumble and all the things that you, um, 
you, you, you preach and you talk about finishing longer than a guy with the ball and somebody made a mistake and, you know, Will went and, and made up for it or they had a positive play. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys like that. And, uh, you know, so something to rally around and build around. Chris, in trying to find positives, the low red, the red zone defense specifically, low red zone, what was going right for you, you know, one for four? <laughs> yeah, and their success that they've had in the red zone um, lately, you know, they've done a nice job. and. You know, our guys were ready to you know, defend as long as they needed to. Uh, and I love that about them. I love that attitude and that approach and you know, communicating the, you know, the different combo plays and, you know, stopping a run and not letting them run it in. Uh, and then being, you know, good on third down and, you know, try to screen probably what they thought maybe four down territory or slip a screen against pressure, we made a play there. And, you know, unfortunately they were able to, you know, find them in the end zone there at the end. Craig a little wasn't ready. combination beater. Sorry. Craig wasn't ready in, in London when, when Phillips fielded that punt right before the half. He, and his unit today wasn't ready for either of those two situations. What's his culpability in, in those plays? I don't know what culpability means, but we have to be better. Uh, starts with me, uh, making sure that everything that we do is, is sound and you know, there's a level of, of execution, and then, you know, obviously, you know, be able to identify whether, you know, we've got uh, you know, scheme issues or we have to um, move some guys around or, you know, make some minor adjustments. I mean, it's just, and that's the case in all three phases. After you, what goes to the coordinator? It all, it all is on me. It, it all, it starts with me, and, you know, again, when we lose, it's, it's, you put it on me. Uh, obviously, that's not good enough. Um, we, we know we have to be able to protect our punters, our kickers, uh, our quarterbacks. So, you know, we just lose games by, by having those things happen. What was the thought process going into this game uh, as Kyle Phillips was a healthy scratch and you played Colton Dowell over him? Didn't play Colton Dowell over him. Coach, you lost Jeffrey Simmons and you lose Derek Henry. Arguably, the two leaders on both sides of the ball, and, and yet both those units found ways to push forward without those guys. Yeah, is that, is that the biggest thing you saw. I thought they again. We competed, and Tajay competed, and you know, guys, you know, they made some plays. We came back, and I'm proud of the football team. We lost, we lost a tough game, hurt for the players, um, because there were opportunities for us to, you know, give in. You know, circumstances, situations, guys were into it on the sidelines. Just unfortunate we, you know, didn't win. On that, on that first Colts drive, the, their touchdown, uh, Wallace had the unsportsmanlike conduct. You took him out, and then the next play, uh, there was a touchdown there. Was that a miscommunication, or was it just? Probably just an execution. They threw the ball over our head, you know. Wasn't a miscommunication. Uh, of the taunting, wanted to make sure that Kayvon, you know, was able to, to, to calm down and explain. And, you know, the, both those safeties play and both of those guys, you know, are going to be expected to, to execute and, uh, and help us. And, you know, wanted to explain that to Kayvon and make sure that, you know, that the message was clear that, you know, I want you to play physical and be emotional and you know, celebrate with your teammates, not, not point at the, at the other team. What could be done to keep these receivers from getting behind the rece uh, excuse me, the DBs so much? I mean, because it's happening like twice a day and it's happening frequently. Yeah, I guess we'll have to, to back up more, or, you know, play, play some cover too, um, more, more than what we do. How do you see from uh, Will in terms of current games? In terms of I think his demeanor has been great. And the, the oh, yeah, I mean, I think that. You know, it, it's a, there's a fine line, you know, about, you know, accountability. It's, I think it's, you know, at this point in time, you're trying to fix problems or give them uh, things to look for. Uh, hey, we hit this, be alert for this, or pressure um, adjustments and, and all those things that come with, with playing uh, a rookie quarterback and, you know, and just as, you know, six start or whatever it is that they come up. I think his, his demeanor has been great on the sidelines, the ability to, be upset and then be able to quickly 
you know, upset about the, the drive and then uh, and get back and, and talk with Charles, talk with Tim, talk to the receivers, uh, talk to the O-line. So, you know, that's all a process, and I think that he's handling it well. You know, showing emotion is, you know, it's all part of it. Do you, like the Do you like the competitiveness of him trying to hurdle a guy to get the first down, or would you rather your quarterback not put himself in that type of situation? I mean, how – you got to have something else, right? We all think that that's probably not what you'd want, you know. Again, you th you love it, and then you know, those aren't going to end well, you know. I mean, the next time the ball comes out, or the next time there's, you know, an injury, and I think that there's ways to, you know, gain extra yards and try to use the rules, you know, to your advantage and making sure that you're protecting yourself, uh, sliding, uh, giving yourself up, you know, going forward. Yes, you appreciate the competitiveness. I think we all knew that for that. But, you know, it's also hard. Um, and, and, again, you just don't rep it in practice. And so he probably made a reaction and just, you just have to be careful. I think the more of those that, that occur, you know, I don't think the odds are in your favor that it, that it ends well. Was Tajay Spears maybe a silver lining the way he kind of stepped up when Derek went down both, you know, I don't know about silver lining. Like, we know that Tajay has, um, you know, the ability to, to make people miss, um, the ability to, to catch the ball, and, um, you know, we've seen him protect. So, again, very, very – a lot of confidence in Tajay and what he's can do and, and, and how he can help us. With Traylon Burks, I think it was like around 10 snaps. Was that like a predetermined – Pitch count for him, was that something? Yeah, just had been out three weeks. You know, we talked about it pretty much all week, and I wanted him to try to get back into it. Um, but there is also a level of volume, you know, in the game plan that you know, we felt like you know, what was reasonable for him to, to be able to execute and have confidence in. You know, player hadn't been, you know, in any meetings for, for three weeks. You know, was in a few meetings here leading up to this week. I had practiced. And so I think it's a good place to start. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to ramp that up and, and get him more um, as he's comfortable. And we just, that was what we tried to do. Any word on Jeff? Um, wasn't able to finish the game, so that's all I got for you. And it was, you know, Colton Dow's made an impact on special teams. That wasn't a decision. Colton Dow's going to be active as long as he continues to have an impact on special teams as, as a wide receiver. Um, you know, we only have you know, 48 guys that we could take to the game. You know, have to look at, you know, what their role is, is potentially going to be in the game. To answer your question. You're much, much uh, better here. What, what, what can you uh, really say about that? I got to thank our fans. I mean, they, they, they brought it today. I definitely felt on a lot of their drives, um, our defensive drives, that, you know, there's good energy there. So I think, you know, we feed off that and, Definitely comfortable here, but I mean, I feel like it's not a big difference. It's weird that you know we haven't been able to win one on the road yet. How hard is it to walk out of here with a loss after, especially after taking the lead in overtime? Ah, uh, yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's it's the NFL. It's uh, it's a battle, especially these division games. And we knew it was going to be a street fight all week. And I was proud of how we fought. And at the end of the day, they got the best of us. And um, it sucks, but we're going to keep pushing. And um, yeah, it's disappointing, but. All you can do is just keep rolling. Another week where you guys start pretty strong and then come out of the half kind of flat. You got it going eventually today, but what is it about falling flat at the beginning of the second half of this game? Yeah, I got to I got to attribute that those stagnant drives to my play, especially I'd say the second and third ones. I had opportunities to convert there with either getting my eyes back and just progressing a little faster, and um, I had bot hop on both of those. And it just sucks when you miss those and you watch it and you see the picture and. Um, yeah, I mean, just we had, I think three three nuts in a row, and that's just not good football, and it got to be better. One of those deep passes, you and, and Hop, like you guys had a conversation afterward. What did you see on there? What did you tell him? It seemed like you were pretty animated. I was just a little, little miscommunication. Just I thought he was doing one thing, he ended up doing the other. Um, and I still got to give him a better ball and, and, and sort it out, but uh, just making sure that we're on the same page going forward. Is that something well that you, I guess, gain confidence in doing in these games, you know, getting after a teammate? Oh, yeah, I mean, I just, we, we hold each other to a high standard. And he's, I, I mean, I'm allowed him, I allow him to 
express his feelings towards me, and I feel like, you know, vice versa. So I've, I'm just getting more comfortable with my relationship with him and everyone else in the team. I'm just trying to get us in a spot to win, to win games. And if that means getting on somebody, then uh, that might be how it is. But, um, you know, just trying to find a way to make the relationship, you know, as make sure that the relationship with the person uh, makes sense for how to get the best outcome. And that might be different for one guy to the other. Asshole. I know they're probably going to talk to you about the, maybe even the helicopter hit you took. If you can continue to play like that, I guess, even though you maybe put yourself in harm's way sometimes. Yeah, time and a place. It's, I mean, that was one of those situations where third down, I knew I was right at the sticks. It's either lower your shoulder and do something else, and I, I, instincts took over. But um, got to be careful for sure um, and not put my body you know, at risk. That play in overtime, did you think you had a free play on the one that you kind of pulled back and ended up scrambling or whatever? But look like kind of which one defended. sorry over time defender kind of leaned forward you went play action to Taji oh no no that was, I just uh we ran the play that we had and um with the pressure had had to end up dirting it but uh it sucks because we had that you know obviously a trick play called there and with the offsides you know it, it, it showed our hand it's funny like they ran the same play earlier in the game and uh it sucks that the offsides happens on a play like that you know well, you guys uh, scored on sort of touchdown on the first drive today. It's first time all year that it happened. Uh, was that a lot of stuff that was kind of scripted all week on that on those four quick plays, or how how'd that all come about? I mean, we were confident in our openers. We knew, especially those first two, we, out in that second one, we had an opportunity to to really catch him sleeping, and and Chig did a great job of getting into the pocket and um, had a really clean edge and got it to him, and then we were rolling from there. So it's it's great to start a game off with a touchdown, and good job by Tim and our offensive staff by just getting a good script of openers for us. And um, just got to be more consistent. Without Henry and Wiley, did you feel kind of those injuries mounting a little bit, especially in overtime? Oh, no, I think Tajay and, and, and everyone else who ended up getting in there stepped up and did a good job. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping that they're able to recover and be back with us here pretty soon. But obviously, you know, it doesn't hurt to have Derek Henry out there. So, um, but I think Tajay held his own and did a great job. Losses are always very difficult, but like, does this one kind of carry a little bit of extra weight to it given? The injuries and being so close with so many different opportunities to win the game. Yeah, I think personally, it's it's the I feel like it's the worst I've played as a Titan, and just going to be watching the film, going to make me sick just with all the missed stops that I had out there. So I think just personally for me, that's what makes it feel uh, as bad as it does, and still having a chance, even despite my play, to be able to go and win it, and then getting the field goal in overtime. Uh, it's deflating and it's, it stinks, but I mean, I got to do what I can to to be better for this team. Is this something you would have done a month ago, or do you feel like you started to earn that right here? I don't think I'm earning. I mean, earning it per se. I just, you know, it's more of a comfort thing. You know, like I said before, in this earlier this week in this press conference, that or before practice, like I'm still trying to find my way as a leader, and um, wherever whatever my role is, um, it could be different now than it is in a couple of weeks. But whatever it is, I gotta make sure it's natural and that <clears throat> I'm able to, you know, get through to these guys and and get the outcomes that we're looking for. No, I, felt, I felt they did a good job. I mean, um, they gave me opportunities to step up in the pocket today, and, and, and I need to help them out with my throws and, and decisions and, um, you know, either my uh, arm angles or the, the, how I'm moving in the pocket. So they did a good job. Got to keep instilling confidence in them, and it's nice that, you know, we have that continuity going from week to week with these guys. Well, some of the veterans were basically pushing you to be more of a, a vocal leader, which you were this week. What are you going to be saying to the team now that you're sitting at four and eight the rest of the way? What's going to be the message that you're going to give to the guys? To keep pushing. I mean, you can't look at your record to determine how you're going to go out there and play. Um, circumstances can't define, you know, your work ethic and how you go out there and the standards you hold yourself to. Like you're, we're coming into work every single day to dominate that day and do it again the next day and do it again the next day and then hopefully have it translate into Sundays, which. Uh, we couldn't do today, but I mean, we're just going out there to win every single Sunday, and that's all we can do.